has been on a delusional. I sent you one of those screenshots you were talking about. Where? This one? Yeah. Let's see what this is. Do people know what I'm talking about here? Here, look at this. This is what they're doing. This is what the losers are doing now because they can't be losers alone. Look at this. The horror. Chrissy Marr. Look at the balds. Look at these fucks. They all collect DVDs and figurines. These are the worst people that we could... Autistic people, hostbuster. These people. They're on such an off path. They're so far off. And historically, we would have ignored them. They were always silenced and sentenced to a life alone. And now they found this is QAnon. This is the Proud Boys. These are the scum of America's bottom floor. And they found community. It's the most dangerous thing happening today. And they know, they almost know that what they're saying is nonsense, but they they get their friends to agree with it. it it's, it's really weird. It's like when you see Gino promote the Proud Boys and pretend that they're just a great, great They're not great. I don't hate great people. <laughs> All right? You know, I, I, I don't do stuff like that. I know who's shit. I know who's full of crap. And these guys are bad. And they shouldn't have internet access. And uh, today we're going to show you some of the grandest delusions of all. I hope that doesn't impress you. But I don't know what can be done. I don't know how we can fight back without looking like it's political. This is the problem. It's because you try to fight Gino Bisconte... And, and they go, oh, he must be a liberal, because Gino's on, see how they weaponize this whole political thing. It's very frustrating. Funny. Hey, everybody. This is Sheila with the Red Bar Radio Replay, just another clipping channel. The clipping channel that brings you Red Bar in HD 1080p, 60 FPS, only 1080 from now on. No more 720 Right when I tuned in, it was interesting because Mike pulled up a picture of a live stream with nine people in it who I'm very familiar with. These are my people on the internet. They're part of my dorky, nerdy community, fandom menace on the internet. And this is exactly the type of stuff that Chrissy Marr and Josh Denny like to latch on to. So Chrissy Marr was on their live streams. And I'm a moderator for three of the people on the screen there. They all know me. So now Chrissy Marr has been streaming with these people recently because there's a crossover between her, between Chrissy Marr's cancel culture specialty topic that she likes to talk about. There's a crossover between that and the Star Wars fandom. So I kind of feel like Chrissy Marr might be a little bit grifting into, you know, trying to tap into this online territory because these people... So explain to me, Sheila, how you come to Comics Go. Explain to me the journey that you have undergone in order to be so involved in an independent comic book movement. <laughs> um, I wish I could pinpoint that. Cool. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really have any investment in like comic books, but I believe in it's the whole like anti-SJW. A, so it's like a culture war kind of thing. Definitely. Yeah, I'm here for the culture war, for the anti-SJW sentiments and stuff like that of Mike to be hyperbolic and label all of them as QAnon alt-right proud boys <laughs> when they are anything but it was so funny and I thought they might get a kick out of it and they did I posted it on Twitter and the post kind of grew legs of its own and a lot of them got a kick out of it and then a lot of them were pissed off <laughs> and a lot of them just don't understand Mike and a lot of them are still confused as to where right if you had a red bar radio Gary nope what is it? Oh, Mike uh, David of Red Bar Radio mistakenly accuses Fandom Menace Stream. Well, this is from Sheed Radians. Accuses Fandom Menace Streamers of being alt right proud boys without having watched any of the streams himself, only seeing a screenshot. There's a screenshot of the quartering, Yellow Flash, that Star Wars girl, Tom Connors, myself, you. 
uh, Chrissy, Quarter Black, and Nick Ricada discussing the Gina Carano mm -hmm. uh, situation. Alt right Proud Boys. What a fucking dickhead. This is the fucking level of mental fucking uh, illness that we have to fucking deal with, people. Chris Imar, look at the balls. Look at these fucks. They all collect DVDs and figurines. These are the worst people that we can... Autistic people, Hostbuster. They collect DVDs and figurines. They are the worst people. They're the doing, horror. They're doing a multi -stream. Chrissy Mar, look at the balls. The balls. <laughs> that that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Uh, like look at the horror. It, it's just it's just. Look at these fucks. <laughs> they all collect DVDs and figurines. <laughs> These are the worst people that we could... Autistic no people, Hostbuster. These people. <laughs> Rife with autism in DVDs. Have you heard of these DVDs that people have these days? They <laughs> were always silenced and sentenced to a life alone. A life alone, alone. Yes, the social uh, reprobates that are on this channel. Over this, Let's did see. we make it a point to show those guys? Um, the Revenge of the Nerds. The Revenge of the Nerds yes, thing. Let me pull that up. Pull this up. Uh, we got into an accidental saga, um, but we're going to show you this on the uh, last episode. I pulled up a screenshot of Chrissy Marr in a bunch of randos. I had never heard of these people, and they were on a Zoom call, right? It looked like the Brady Bunch on the internet right now. You know, all these losers and weirdos were sentenced to a life alone before the internet. Then they met up with people, and now they've created this powerful force that I fear we cannot take on. I mean, we're inferior. <laughs> They'll, you know, normal people go, okay, I'm not gonna do that. They are normal. They'll keep doing things. So here's the nice. next one. Sheila Aliens. She runs the channel um, Red Bar Radio Replay. Half of the day, I don't think, she doesn't know, but she's getting me in a lot of trouble. So she runs this video, and I'm going to play you this video. She's going to narrate the video at the beginning. It's very Again, exciting. this is why we call her Spilly. And believe me, you know, Jeffree Star ain't this nice to Spilly. He tries to sue her every day. Look at these fucks. Here we go. They all collect DVDs and figurines. This is QAnon. All right. This is the Proud Boys. So here is where all the commotion started. Now, apparently, all these people on this screenshot I was showing, I never heard one of them in my whole life. I think I seen this fat fuck on H3. They don't like him, right? The quartering. The quartering, but this He's screenshot. Like a Brie Larson guy. I didn't know that was him. All I know is Chrissy Marr when I was showing this screenshot, and I just assumed these are fucking... And if the you're guy from Crowder. Did I know him, though, at the time? I mean, I don't even think I was talking about him. Probably not. I, I was like, it's Chrissy Marr and a bunch of losers. Like, when we watched that ski mask guy. Yes. I mean, to me, if you're on screen with Chrissy Marr, you're like a bottom-of-the-barrel fucking loser. I'm so I see this, and I say, this is, you know, the losers of the world. This is the bottom-of-the-barrel people. This is QAnon. This is Proud Boys. This is the... And lo and behold, all these people in this screenshot, all they took away from that is, they think we're QAnon and Proud Boys? A lot of them got a kick out of it, and then a lot of them are pissed off. <laughs> and a lot of them just don't understand Mike, and a lot of them are still confused as to where, what is he, is he a troll? 